Hey, what's up guys, Chip here. And today let's go over part three in this Cybox series. In this part, we're gonna talk about how we create our own cutters and inserts, right? So let's first talk about what we wanna do. I'm gonna do a couple different things, but the first thing I wanna do is, let's take this little this little graphic right here. I wanna create this little thing so I can just grab it and drag it into on an object and it will create a cutter that cuts into the object and leaves that kind of a surface there. there's cutters and unions and let me kind of explain that real quick so if i go into i'm going to go into cutters that are part of the design magic but if i add an insert here let's turn off my face orientation you'll see this is a cutter right so this all this does is cut right so let's delete that let's go ahead and let's go to this plus now this is the opposite I'll drag this around this is a union so all this does is union uh, there's not an actual separate part here right whereas if i go into here and i choose something like this these are the separate parts add insert here this is actually a separate part so if i go in here onto this and let's just for instance take that cube and we're going to go into our kit option converter to mesh remove unused inserts and i tab into this you'll see that you know that is part of the cube this on the other hand is not so this is just a plain old object and by the way kitops free can create just these right it can't do the cutters and it can't do the unions but it can create just a, so if you have a chair or something like that you can save it to the library using kitops free but if you want to do anything else with cutters you're going to have to use kitops pro so I'm going to stop here real quick and mention that as far as Booleans go, Blender 3.1 is your best bet. 3.2 and 3.3 have a pretty significant material bug where the materials are getting transferred from the Boolean cutter or the Boolean union to the object. And it's uh, not documented anywhere, so I'm pretty sure it's a bug. I've talked about it over here in the Blender Dev Talk, and I've actually reported the bug as well. But I'm just letting you know that, uh, that I'm going to show you this uh, moving forward on Blender 3.1. Okay, we got a new scene here in Blender. I'm gonna select all, X, delete, shift A, and we're gonna put a cube in here. Uh, actually, I'll just leave it right here. Typically, I'll Z and move it down so it's even, but but let's just say that we're uh, working off the origin, and that might be the case sometimes as you're creating different kinds of cutters and things like that. So let's go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and add that SY cutter to this. And always, when you create new geometry, we're gonna shade smooth it. And then we'll go over here and in normals we auto smooth right i've got that set up to a q thing so i can auto smooth right there so okay so we're, we're here let's just go into solid mode and i could build this using the design magic tools but i'm not going to do it because i know everyone doesn't have those so let me just go ahead and shift a mesh we'll add a cube and we'll move it up and we'll scale it and i'm going to make that little that little object that we were talking about and then uh, let's tab into it, control R, and let's just move this up something like this. And then hit the two button, we're gonna grab this and this, and I'm gonna scale those in the Y direction down to zero. And then I'll hit A, merge, merge by distance, so I get rid of two vertices. So there's our basic cutter object. If I hit tab and hit this, and with bull tools, set up we hit the boolean difference and we've got that and that basically gives us a modifier with a difference and it hides this right so now uh, let's just move this up to where where we think it might be a good place for i'm going to tab into our object actually i'm going to go ahead and hit this into local mode and then tab into it uh, let's go into wireframe mode and three face mode. I'll just grab this and this, right? And I'll hit I, which will move things. But you notice it's not moving things proportionally. And that's because we haven't adjusted the scale. So I'm gonna say Control A and make sure we normalize the scale. Let's tab in here. And now we hit I for inset, drag this in, okay? E for extrude and then we'll move it up as much as we want. Something like that, perhaps. Let's go back into our, our wireframe and we'll, we'll click on this button right here which is turns off the perspective hold the alt key down and get, get, get something that looks like that's doing that so i want to be give myself a little room to put some bumps up here we're going to put a little like some little dots on that surface okay now uh with this selected we're going to want to add some more geometry to this so let's talk about that for a quick second if i try and click on it you'll see that i'm just getting these faces over here and so what i really need to do is go up here and hit this toggle x-ray so what we're going to do is we're going to take this face and we're going to divide it. So I'm going to right click on it and say subdivide. And let's do, I don't know, 
maybe f- three, maybe four. We'll do four. Now, with that done, I'm going to hit II twice, and I'm going to kind of pull this in like so, just like this. And with these faces selected, we're going to right click and we're going to subdivide again, maybe two times. And then I want to make sure that I have loop tools enabled, and I'll right click, loop tools, circle. And then I want to scale these about the, their individual origins. So I go over here and click on individual origins and hit the S button and scale them down like this. And then I'll hit the E and move them up, you know, as high as I want like this. So, and then I'll select all and I'll hit the X button and I'll say limited dissolve. So that's just basically going to clean it all up really is what it's going to do. And I'll tab out of this, turn the x-ray mode off. And you can see we've got, you know, we've got our insert. And it's a cutter and that means that, you know, it's got to be inside the material for it to work. So let's just lay it, let's set it up to where we want it. Okay, so there's our cutter, right? That's our cutter that we want it saved. Now you're saying, okay, so what's the best way? A lot of you might say just right click on this and save the cutter. But the, what I like to do, especially if I'm using multiple objects to create a cutter, which we're going to do in a little bit, and let's name this... Pirelli arrow. Okay, I'm gonna name it that. So what I want to do is I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna apply apply all of these, and I can X, I can delete that, and then I'll go and I'll tab into this and let's hit the three button and we've named it Pirelli arrow now. Uh, the object I'm hit plus. So now I've got all these faces selected, and I'll say X, delete the vertices, and now I have this right. So now I say A, and what I want to do is go under select loops boundary loop just selects that one and then hit f to f finish that off and i'll pull it up now notice that our face orientation is selected so that means that we're seeing it's all inside out so i'm gonna select a and then under mesh i'll go normals recalculate outside and now we're done now the next thing i want to do is i want to position this so that's right so what i'll do is i'll go over options origins and i'm going to drag this up here, let's go into wireframe view. I want it to be just a little bit above these dots, something like that. And that looks pretty good. So I'll go back into options and turn off origins. And then I will just say object snap selection to cursor. And the cursor is at the origin, so we have that. And maybe I'll save it at this point. If I'm going to save this as a cutter, you know, I'll, I need to make sure that first of all, I have the collection open that I wanna save it into. I'm gonna call it the details one. Let's go ahead and uh, make sure that we have the right material set, which we do. And then we need to go into its properties and under viewport display, we need to make sure this says wire. And that's gonna tell us it's gonna be a cutter. It's gonna tell KitOps to make it a cutter. Now, the other thing you can do is if you're using the KitOps toggle VP display, which comes free with pro and free, you know, you can basically, use Control alt shift z to toggle between these modes between bounds textured and wire so you can just kind of toggle and you get to that one once you get to that one and you make sure that your scale is right scale looks right your rotation looks right that's all right go back in here and uh the last thing we want to do before we save is i want to tab into this and i want to select nothing and then say select sharp edges and so this is going to give you all the sharp edges. And you can see we've got some in here that I don't really want. So I'm going to move this down or up. There we go. So I just want these to be the sharp edges. You can see I don't get the size of those cylinders. Those are going to be smooth. And with all that done, I'll say Control E or go into Edge and just say Mark Sharp. So I'll mark those as sharp. So that's a real important thing to do because you don't know where this cut is going to end up on what kind of convoluted surface. And these sharp edges are going to help make sure that you don't get smoothing artifacts as caused by the cutter. Okay, we'll tab out of that. And now within here, we just right click on this and we'll say Kit Ops, create insert, use object origin. And there's our insert. So let's go file, new, general, don't save, come back into Kit Ops, and we'll go into our details. And here it is, Pirelli arrow, add that insert over here turn off face orientation and let's just see you can see how that works so it works, works worked really well and I can just you know add it as much as I want I can shrink it I can rotate it as I'm adding it you know I can shift D move it and shift R you know so there's a lot of things I can do with this so anyway that's the first step of this now there's another step that I'm going to go over here next